Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Welcome to your posture adjustment today. I'm going to be taking a look at the way that you walk, uh, measuring some of the um, posture and the way the body is falling, and we'll be making some slight adjustments and having you do some repetitive movements to try and really lock that posture in place, okay? Sounds good. So first thing, I want you to just walk there and back for me, just to that side of the room, and walk back for me. And turn around and again. Good. And turn around, come again. Stop there. I want you to um, simply turn around one more time. Bend over as if you would be picking something up. Just want to see how the body is moving. Okay, come back up, thank you. And I will gently just feel the spine here for any deformities that we have to take into consideration. Checking the hips here as well, and everything looks straight and symmetrical, so we shouldn't have to take that into consideration for the posture adjustment. So if you step out of the way, I'm just going to place a chair. And if you would just seat sit here for me and I'm just going to see how you naturally fall here so don't make any adjustments even micro adjustments so we have the head slightly forward the shoulders slightly rounded in place your hands gently on top like that thank you you can flip them over, that's fine. Uh, just do not grasp and activate the hands at all. And for where the muscles are falling, scapula are even, shoulders sloping down to the left. Let's just check the Angle side to side. So sloping more here compared to here. Okay. The top of the head slightly sloping to the left side. The neck is tilted that way. I'm just going to manipulate you here. Back to what's natural for you. All right, let's make some measurements so we can see how we've changed the posture after the adjustment. We have the first measurement is going to be from the base of the neck to the tip of the shoulder. Same thing on the other side. So it is a little bit shorter on this left side, which means you're crunching this way and extending out this way. I'm going to get the neck just below the ear, all the way down to the shoulder. Again, one centimeter difference. What to get from the center of the face, just about here, down to the shoulder. Again, 
center of the face to the shoulder. Everything is one centimeter less on the left side. I'm going to get the shoulder to just under the arm here. That helps us track the hunch forward. That is the same side to side. However, we're hoping to expand and improve it over the course of today's session. All right, going to measure how far the neck is sticking out. So I'm going to get from the base of the neck to the chin here. I'll just cross check it on this side. And I want to get the angle of the head here. Just getting so perfectly straight would be there. So we're trending slightly there. Here. Trending slightly. Jeremy, I'm going to start manipulating you here, and I just want you to completely relax and be free. I want to open up the head and the chest, free the neck, completely go loose into my hands. Let me hold you. There you go. I want you to experience what it's like to be weightless in the neck, to release the pressure of holding it up on your own. And now, back to center. Feel how heavy it feels once you have to do it yourself. Again, making slight micro-adjustments here, just finding the midpoint, settling you in. Do you mind if I put your hair back so I can observe the neck better? Uh, no, that's fine. Okay. With my posture touch adjustment techniques, I like to create a real sense of calm, groundedness, as we seek the best possible way for our body to settle in the world. Is that all comfortable for you? Mm -hmm. And examining the neck. So um, you're tilting this way a little. Do you feel that at all or does it feel very natural to you? Um, feels natural. Okay. If I tilt you like this, does that feel unnatural? Uh, yeah, a little. Okay. Go back to regular there. So, you're naturally sort of pointing a little bit to the left and a little bit down like that. I'm exaggerating it now, mm -hmm. obviously. When you go to your natural position, you still tilt just a little bit that way. The shoulders also round forward. The head sort of um, pops out a little bit, which is it's very common these days. It's what gives us this bump in the back. So we're going to practice a couple of movements here to try and relocate you more to the midline. First thing I want you is just to lean this way into my hand completely. 
I'm just adjusting you back here and back to center and landing there slightly unnatural you're going to feel like you're slightly looking to the right okay. I want you to roll your shoulders back and relax relax fully I'm going to have you bend forward, bend back, try it one more time, just keeping the back more straight, I'm going to hold you in place, bend forward at the hips, keep the head upright, just bending here at the hips, see, just like that, perfect, perfect, and slowly stand up, and come back, okay, good. Again, I want you to bend at the hips, keeping the, the spine aligned exactly, and then you can use the chair to stand up and stay as standing for me, please. And I'm just going to look. So examining you here. Shoulders are less hunched forward upon standing. Giving you that curve in the low back. Now relax. Feel yourself collapse a little there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Just looking at the way the arms are falling. Again, just assessing the posture. tiny adjustments here and there. All right, open your eyes. Slowly bend back using the seat. Sit backwards into the chair. I, there you go, exactly. So that's a motion we'll repeat a couple of times. Again, seeing where your end has landed. Just tiny adjustments. Pushing the shoulders slightly back. And we have you slightly reclined here as well to keep the spine nice and straight. I want you to uh, push against my hand here. See how that straightens the neck? I know that's going to feel very uncomfortable, but now try and relax. Relax the head, relax back to normal positioning. And just try and retain a little bit of that very good. Just looking at you as if I'm pulling a string up. Right, I want you to now put your head down all the way. Then fold forward. Then stand up. Very good, and then come back, and head comes back. Feeling the spine, it's nice and straight, slight more curve there already, just paying attention to the body, paying attention to the movements of the body. Head down, sit back with the back body, and find the seat. Very good. And head up, and back to resting position. And I'm just going to make slight micro movements. Just relax and try and allow me to do that to the body.
just moving from side to side till I find the perfect midline position where I just sort of fall directly into place. Let's go ahead and see the symmetry there. Moving closer to symmetrical. And I'm going to move you left, right, and relax, all around here, fall into my hand. Head down, fold forward, don't rise. Okay, I can see that your relax your arms a little bit forward. I just want to see where your shoulders were. Okay, up. And head is last to rise. And then again, head down, fold forward, just sort of slide forward, stop right there. Taking the hips and come up, head comes up last, so body comes up, then head comes up and find the midline. And we did just return slightly to that leftward position, so I'm just adjusting your back now. Relax, take a breath in, and go loose, okay. and the head wanted to go back there, so let's play with that. See if we can keep the head like that as we bend forward and stand up. So again, head goes down, bend forward, and stand up, and come back, and head up. Better. Head down, come backwards, and sit, and head back, and shoulders back. Very good. Still slightly listening to the left. Something we're going to have to work on with time. Shoulders are much better. Keeping your head nice and straight like that. We're going to retake some of these measurements. And yes, still slightly to the left, but better. The shoulders have become slightly more even. Now obviously, we've only done a few repetitions here. That's just to get the motions in place and then you can practice them on your own. Good. So that has evened up quite a bit on the shoulders. From 17 on this side to and 16 on this side to closer to 16.7 on this side and 16.2 on this side. So that's a lot closer. We 
tourniquet. Again, from the ear down. And just try and move that head back to where it was. You'll feel a little pressure. Just try and keep it where it is. That's also a little bit better, still slightly uh, more cramped on this side, but it'll take some adjusting. Okay, I'm going to get the last couple here from the top of the face. Down to the shoulder, we got 40 centimeters there, and again, warming to the top. The face. And we have 40 centimeters there, so that has become more even. It was 40, 40.5 on this side to 38.5 on this side, but they've completely evened out, so that means we've adjusted the head to be more center line. And we'll just get from the from here, this is the last measurement, and on this side, and I think that was relatively symmetrical before, and it is here too. It's definitely less curvature though. We'll just do this one, and actually that's straight in the middle now, so that has evened out a lot side to side. Good. So just to uh, track for my records, um, when we do, I'm gonna give you these exercises to try at home, and when you come back in, we'll reassess you. I'm going to just measure the shape of the shoulder here, um, and that's going to let us know if you've been able to open up at all. So you will feel some pressure coming down on your shoulders. Just go completely natural. So exactly, just nice and loose and where you'd naturally fall. Very good. I'm going to be putting some pressure down on you here. Okay. So that was the right shoulder. Doing the same thing on this side again, just go nice and loose and back to midline and relax. So we do have a little bit more forward motion on this right side, and that makes sense. If you're sort of overall twisting like this a little bit, you're going to have more forward motion on that side. All right, Jeremy, one last time, I'm going to have you come to the midline. I'm gonna make slight adjustments just to keep it fresh in your mind for when you practice at home. Head tilts down. Shoulders round forward, bending at the hips and standing up. Coming back, shoulders straighten, head lifts, very good. Very good, and head falls down. Hinging backwards at the hips and sitting gently and coming back, very good. How does that feel? Oh, that feels good. Okay, well, we'll keep working on this with our posture in modern day. It's very important to be constantly practicing this, but I think this is a good basis for you to work on it at home and come back for reassessment, all right? Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you.